hello everyone in this session we will can discuss about the maximum torque or breakdown torque and pull out torque stalling torque all are the same meaning when you look at the maximum torque name itself the torque will reach the maximum value or breakdown torque breakdown means at that region the motor will break down occur motor will stop breakdown means pull out pull out means it will out from the synchronism or stalling so these are the similar names these are the names of the torque so definition is is a maximum torque that can be developed by synchronous motor without lose its synchronous so name itself synchronous motor should be work on the synchronism synchronism means so we have the simple thing we have the rotor and we have the stator we have the rotor and we have the stator and north pole south poles are rotates with synchronous speed rotate with the synchronous speed so therefore it rotate with the synchronous speed and by synchronism so if it is a north pole and by the attraction if it is a south pole by this attraction in the synchronism the rotor will be rotates so whenever it's lose its synchronism lose its synchronism then it will become the rest it will become the rest it doesn't rotates that means okay so here generally we have a some relation the relation is like this generally if you draw the speed versus torque y axis is the speed and x axis is the torque this is the torque if you draw the curve between these two things so by the varying the torque the speed will be the constant we slowly increasing from zero if you increasing the torque slowly then it will be the constant but at a particular torque that means we can name it as the maximum torque after maximum torque what happens speed will become speed will become and it will reach the zero it will reach the zero so up to this torque it will be working in the stable region stable mode and after that maximum torque it will be working as unstable mode unstable mode or unstable region unstable region okay this is in the stable mode and this is in the unstable mode okay so this is about the maximum torque maximum torque means simply the torque which is available for the stable operation if it crosses the whenever the motor will become the unstable then it will call maximum torque at that point the torque is called the maximum torque okay next now we will de uh, discuss about the reactive power and excitation in the synchronous motor so this is regarding the synchronous motor we already completed the excitation and the reactive power of the generator this is for synchronous motor so excitation is the you know the reactive power and the excitation both are interrelated reactive power represents with the q and excitation represents with the if right so generally the the construction is like this the synchronous motor just we consider this is the synchronous motor and this is the stator the motor motor is excited motor is excited and it is connected to the dc field current and this exit this is the north pole and this is the south pole okay so this excitation will interlink with the reactive power interlink with the reactive power so in the first case we will discuss about if it is over excited if it is over excited the excitation is over excited we will look at here generally the formula the reactive power formula equal for the synchronous motor that is v excess by v minus e cos del v minus e cos del this is the formula v is the thermal voltage xs is a synchronous reactance and del is the load angle 
if it is over excited over excited means the thing is we can write like this e cos del e is greater than the v this value is greater than the v then what happened that if you substitute this value in this equation you will get q is negative you will get the reactive power is the negative right so here that means q is negative means what is this meaning this meaning is the machine deliver the reactive power so q whenever the q is negative the machine will deliver the reactive power at leading power factor okay if the machine is delivering the reactive power the operating power factor is the leading power factor okay right then the effect of armature reaction is called the demagnetization and this is called the demagnetization okay this is called the demagnetization yeah good uh, whenever reactive power is negative and it will operate at the reactive power and it is lose the magnetization field so that's why it is called the demagnetization second under excitation under excitation means here the e cos del is less than v e cos del is less than v whenever e cos del is less than v the reactive power will become the positive q is the positive and whenever the q is the positive means reactive power is taken that is the thing only the machine absorb the reactive power and operate at the leading power factor leading power factor when synchronous meter synchronous motor delivers then leading lag leading and absorb this not leading this is the lagging power factor if it is absorbed it is a lagging power factor here the effect of armature reaction is called magnetization so armature reaction we can name it as the magnetization next next is the normal excitation normal ex excitation means v value both are same v equal to e constant then the reactive power q will become the zero q will become the zero whenever the reactive power will become the zero neither deliver nor absorb so q may q may not be q may not be negative q may not be positive you observe the reactive power okay then the effect of armature reaction is called cross magnetization so then the effect is called the cross magnetization understand so these are the three different different cases which are useful to understand the things which are useful to understand the things now we will frame one table uh, the table will give the comparison between the uh, generator and the synchronous motor for different different power factors so for that we will take excitation one side excitation one side and the reactive power if it is alternator and for the synchronous motor first thing what about power factor if you look at the power factor power factor for alternator and the synchronous motor we will take these conditions so we will discuss about this for two cases then it will be very useful So reactive power and the power factor. Okay, yes. So in the excitation, so if it is over excited, if it is over excited, what about alternator? Alternator generally diverse. And synchronous motor is synchronous motor also delivers whichever the over excited both will be delivered 
when the synchronous motor is delivered then it will be acting as lagging power factor but synchronous motor will acting as leading power factor okay if it is under excited under excited and it will it will absorb the under excitation you should observe it, it doesn't have enough excitation and synchronous motor will also absorb the reactive power whenever the alternator absorb means it will be acting as a leading power factor it will be acting as a lagging power factor next normal excitation normal excitation so in the normal excitation a simple thing in this neither observe nor nor develop so alternator neither absorb or nor deliver the reactive power that thing is the important thing neither absorb nor deliver in the two cases okay an alternator will be acting as unity power factor as well as the unity power factor both the cases unity power factor so these are the three different different cases for the three different different cases for the reactive power and excitation of the synchronous motor and this is the comparison of alternator and synchronous motor both reactive power excitation and the power factor okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you